I love goals. At any given point, I have 10 different goals that I'm working on. They can be financial goals, health goals, personal goals, career goals, relationship goals, professional goals, spiritual goals, you name it. My notebooks and my entire office are jam-packed with goals. I'm obsessed with goals. Why? Because they completely changed my life and I've seen them change the lives of people from around the world. I've started online challenges about goals. I read books about goals. I even wrote my own New York Times best-selling books about goals. Links in the description. I drive my family crazy with goals. I don't know if you can be a goal nerd. There's, there's probably not like a goal con, like Comic Con, where you just show up and it's a convention hall full of like overachievers, type A's, trying to efficiently navigate all the trade show booths, crossing off checklists and measuring their steps. I hit my step goal, but that's me. I'm a goal nerd. I love experimenting with goals to see what can I learn and then can I figure out how to teach that goal to other people if it works. One goal that I experimented with last year was drinking a gallon of water every day. I kept seeing exercise gurus talk about it. So I figured, why not? Like I have access to water. I went to Publix, bought a gallon, felt like a meathead. I was like, yeah, I got a gallon of water. Woo. And then I drank it every single day for two weeks. Do you want to know what I learned? Before I tell you that, hit that subscribe button. I could have saved that request until the end of the video, but I think you're going to be so overwhelmed at what I learned drinking a gallon of water every day that, well, I think you might forget to subscribe. So go ahead and boop, 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 hit that subscribe. Okay, what did I learn when I drank a gallon of water every day? Are you ready? I learned the location of every bathroom in my city. That's that's pretty much it. That was what I learned. I learned that people kind of stare at you when you use the bathroom three times during a single church service. I learned that if you're sitting on aisle 15 on an airplane, you have to jump up quickly to beat aisles 1 through 14 to the bathroom because you've got some distance to cover. You know, like you've got to go. You have to watch that green light indicating that the person in the bathroom is leaving like a hawk so that you can time your stand up just right and get all the way up. I learned that if you drive to Atlanta without strategically planning a series of bathroom breaks along the way, shout out Mont Eagle, you will find yourself on what they call Spaghetti Junction, stuck in traffic and absolutely dying. True story, true story. Now I did feel a little bit better, I, I did, but it wasn't as dramatic as the water cartel promises. Your skin will clear up, you'll have more energy and on windy days, you'll be able to float a little. Not so high that you get scared, but higher than say a fire hydrant, you'll be able to float. Now I'm not a doctor, but please know that if I was, I would never take my scrubs off. I would wear them at the grocery store, the coffee shop, funerals. I would constantly be letting people know, oh man, yeah, oh these, I forgot I had them on. I'm a doctor, doctor, lifesaver, but I'm not one. So don't take my water advice seriously. Take it with a grain of salt. Now my new goal is to drink half a gallon of water a day, which seems to be working pretty well for my six foot four frame. I will tell you this, if your goal is to familiar yourself with every bathroom in the city you live in, then by all means, yes, drink a gallon of water every day. Have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried a gallon of water every day? Have you even heard of that goal? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback about that specific goal. And if there's any other goals that you want to suggest that I try, let me know that too, because I'm always looking for a new goal to tinker with and experiment with and see, is there anything there that I can learn and apply in my own life? 